guys welcome back to my channel I am about to show you what's in Gavin's suitcase this will be the final chapter to the um, packing series for my nine-month-old to Disney World and I don't know what in the world I was thinking um, I packed his suitcase and my suitcase yesterday entirely and forgot to, that I needed to film it if you can believe that. So this is me unpacking and repacking. I do have a couple of things that I needed to add to his suitcase, so it's okay that I am doing this now. A couple of these things I'm also gonna rethink, so we'll just see. Sorry, I'm kind of sideways. But I am I apologize for the lighting. It is nighttime after work, and um, I have my bedroom, his bedroom lighting, his lamp, and another lamp I brought in, so hopefully it's enough to see. So yeah, let's jump right in. This is my suitcase that was gifted to me by my aunt um, as a wedding gift to me and Jacob when we got married seven years ago. So I have this size, and then I have another carry-on size that Jacob's going to pack in. Are you going to behave? <laughs> Alright, so um, on, I'll, I'll start on this side. On this side here, I have the clothes and snacks. I could totally fit some of these snacks on the other side, which I might because I have to throw in some other items. But I have them in a Ziploc bags ready to go these are the pajamas and then his swim stuff his first day outfit second day third day and such so these are the primary outfits and then these are like the secondary outfits and a jacket um, I call these the secondary outfits over here because I'm gonna take them as a backup or um, if we go home and um, to the resort and rest and I might want to change them in case it's like dirty or stinky or whatever you never know with babies and then I'm also going to have an int um, I think it's in here um, I have a bunch of emergency onesies that I'm gonna keep in his diaper bag so I may not have like for the day he'll be wearing his um, like primary outfit and then I won't take these in his diaper bag but I'll put one of these there instead for emergencies because it's the smallest um, option and it takes up the least amount of room and so and if any if all else fails like his shorts get dirty well then he's just gonna hang out in a, in a onesie you know until I need him to be in something else so anyway that's the idea for that I have <clears throat> stuff that in there I have his pajamas two long sleeve two onesies his swim stuff his outfits here the secondary outfits the onesies, socks, no, not the socks, but the onesies and his jacket. His other jacket is in his, going to be his, in his, um, in that, um, airplane bag. Sorry, I was lost in thought. I, I don't think it, it's even in there. I wonder where it is. Anyway, then I also have some shoes. So I've got all of his shoes kind of piled in here, minus one pair because... He wore them today, so I'm going to put those in at the last moment. And I've got some of his snacks labeled because I unpackaged them and repackaged them. So I've just got a few, a few, I've got kind of a lot. And then these are my foods that or that didn't fit in my suitcase, but um, I might be able to fit them. I'm not really sure because I'm going to repack some of my stuff too because i got to show you it anyway. I have the umbrella that I keep in his diaper bag. Um, usually, it's the one that I took last year to Disney World and probably the year before that, actually. But that's the one I'm going to keep in his diaper bag, if not the stroller. His hat and his sunglasses are in there as well. And uh, let me just kind of sort of put things back where they go so I can flip it over to the other side. I apologize for my sniffling as well. As usual, it's allergy season. In this side, I have some spare socks. I don't even know how many are in here. Uh, one, two, 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, because you never know. Most of the outfits that I have in Ziploc bags have socks in them that I kind of sort of match or kind of go. And then if for some reason those don't work out, then I have some backups too. And if all else fails and I completely run out of socks, I'm taking Drift. So I can always wash them if I need to, you know, like you got to do what you got to do. And this side, I don't even remember what I have. Oh yes, I have the glow things and the sticky placemats from <laughs> Chick-fil-A and spoons. In addition to the, uh, I think the two spoons that I have in his airplane diaper bag. So I'll have plenty just in case, in case I lose them, and, uh, you know, I have some. And in this one, if you can't already see, oh, Alex, I gotta get up. Oh, I have the other bubbles from that package that I showed you in my haul uh, for entertainment. They are girly, but they were cheap, only a dollar, and they fit in, a, in my purse or in his diaper bag for easy amusement whenever he needs to. So I have one in there for the flight. Um, I had, this is one of two from, uh, it's going in my purse for the plane. The extra wet ones that don't need to be in my diaper bag because I already have one. And then I have in this bag the bottle stuff. So I have the scrubber for the small pieces of his Dr. Brown's bottles, the bigger piece to, you know, scrub the actual bottle. And then I think this is already leaking um, dish soap to wash these things. So yeah, I hope that that lasts. It's a brand new container, but we'll see. I'll check it again on Monday. And over here, oh, over here I have the other bulk stuff. Oh, there's the other jacket. <laughs> I'm so dumb. Uh, the other jacket, so let's see if I can do this. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to take these because I have a ton of wipies. So I may or may not take those. I think I changed my mind. I'm not going to take them. Okay. So these two uh, camouflage designer bags go with Jacob's daddy diaper bag, but they're kind of cute for packing his uh, toiletries in. So I thought I would use them. So in this bag, I have his sunscreen, his bug spray, a lotion, and a mini lotion for some reason. But this one I filled up, so it's full, good to go. Oh, 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 last thing is the refills for this little, um, it's the poopy bags. It's just a refill for this little spinning thing that just dispenses the bags to dispose dirty diapers or whatever you want to use them for. In this bag, I believe I have his bath time stuff. <laughs> Hooray for bath time! So this one I dispensed his lavender scented nighttime wash and then I have a ton of these from doctor's visits and gifted to me so I have some shampoos and body washes and I doubt I even use them all but they're all in here and then there's a kitty. <laughs> I in this bag this is like his medical bag it was like the safety first thing I emptied out most of its contents and filled it with things that I thought would be appropriate for the trip so I have a thermometer q-tips um, a little booger sucker there's nail clippers in there I don't know if you can see them back there but they're there two thermometers I can see that I have two thermometers a comb and I use a cloth to wash his teeth and I think that's it on that side and then on this side I have an extra um, baby powder because I have one in his diaper bag at the moment his draft his baby laundry soap and 
um, baby oil for extra moisture just in case he needs it. I can't imagine needing it because I've got a ton of lotion anyway, but you never know. I will do that up again later. I have a small amount of Cheerios. I don't know if you remember me mentioning in the other <laughs> in the other video of my haul that that big box of Cheerios gave me a ton of them. Like so many that I'm going to empty some and put in his diaper bag for the uh, flight, for the airplane flight. Because he's going to have plenty. So, yeah. That's a whole lot of Cheerios. I'd be surprised if we eat all those in the week. But you never know. You never know. He seems to like them. I have swimming diapers. Wipies. I have 200. In addition to the ones that I have in his diaper bag. That's an unopened package. I think it's 32 of them, but I'm not positive. And then I have um, a full pack of diapers here and then a few more here. I can't remember how I um, came about the idea of calculating how many diapers he was going to use. I can't remember like my reasoning behind it. But I came, I came up with an amount, an estimation, and some extras. Plus the extras that I'll have on the flight over in my diaper bag for the airplane. Because I don't doubt I'll use all of those either. So there's those. And then his nighttime diapers. So those are also going to be convenient because um, they last a little bit longer. And they're more absorbent. So I have, I don't remember, I don't remember, I think I have 10. So there's that. <clears throat> I have the two containers of the formula that we use instead of one big one I got two small ones because I thought it'd be easier to pack but you know whatever that may or may not be true and then over here I have repackaged those food pouches for um, meal supplements fruits and veggies tons of them and then I also have I don't know how I'm gonna make these fit again but I will um, these little pick-me-ups that I bought also because he likes to feed himself. And all, a lot of this food stuff is in my other haul and the reasoning behind it, why I bought it and, and why I bought the amount that I bought. So if you're interested in that, check out the other video. And then I have, this is one of two swaddles. I chose swaddles over blankets because... I hope, I hope Gavin babbling isn't too distracting. I'm sorry. Um, but anyway, I chose swaddles over blankets because they are not as bulky. And it's mostly hot at Disney World. But sometimes it can get cool and he might need a blanket. So I thought that this would be sufficient enough. So this is one of two. And again, if I have to wash them or, you know, pay to go do laundry, I will. Um, but this can be used for multiple reasons, a blanket, something to sit on, something to shade him with, all of these things. So this is one of two. Oh, swim diapers, if I didn't point those out. And then over here I have two bath towels, which I'm not sure I need to take either. He doesn't, he's pretty, uh, um... Uh, I don't know what the word I'm looking for. He's not, his skin isn't sensitive. He can use whatever lotion. He can wear whatever fabrics. He's, he's good. He's a champ. He's good to go. So I'm not sure that I want to bother with these. I might just take one instead of two. That's a good idea, Alex. Let's take one instead of two. And um, some washcloths for the bath. And then a beach towel for the pool, which is here. And it's the dinosaur, good dino design. I'm not going to undo it all. But there's that. I eliminated, eliminated a thing, some things that I don't need to take. <laughs> so there's that. Some things that I need to add to this suitcase that I don't have in here are some toys. Most of his toys are going in his airplane bag because I'm going to need them for entertainment. But here's a set that he got for Christmas. It's the Fisher-Price little um, 
animals and they're all connected in there so I'm not going to take them out but there's that and then his crinkle paper book one of two that I bought because he really likes it and then just today when I picked him up from his grandma's she had bought some more clothes for him some more uh, two outfits so I have those pack um with socks in them and I'm going to put those in a Ziploc bag and throw those over there as well as if I need more outfits, but I might eliminate some other ones, less favorable ones, because these are super cute. I like these more. I'm not sure if I have enough bibs. I just thought that these were the newest, cleanest, more durable ones that I had, so I thought that I would make use of them and put that in there. And then his stroller fan that we got from Amazon. I can't believe I forgot it. Um, I don't care for the screw. Um for the batteries but um, I my, my tweezers fit in there to screw it and unscrew it so I'll just use that and yeah so uh, those things need to go in the suitcase and Alex don't forget the tessitin that is my little post-it note because I have his his diaper rash cream right there ready to go and I might use it all up I might have to buy another one I'm not sure we'll just evaluate the situation on Monday um, I think that's all I need to show you. So, yeah, I, <laughs> that's what's in Gavin's suitcase, guys. I hope that this was enjoyable and benefit you. And like I said, this is my first time uh, traveling with Gavin, first time flying, first vacation. So if I have forgotten something... And you think that you have any suggestions for me or advice, I would love to hear it. And yeah, that's it. Sorry, I'm a little scattered because I just got off of work and I just, you know, I wanted to do this for you. And not that it was a chore. It was fun. It was enjoyable. I'm just kind of tired. But I'm going to put this stuff away. And if I feel up to it, I'm going to show you what's in my suitcase. It kind of depends on that guy over there. We'll just see how he, how he does. So, thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed my packing series for my 9-month-old going to Disney World. Check out my other videos if you haven't. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, all that good stuff <laughs> that I don't say often enough. Um, yeah, so stay tuned. We'll see you guys. Bye!